let's talk about Sharp Stick. This is from uh, Lena Dunham. And I'll be honest. Wait, not... wait, wait, wait. Le Lena Dunham has a new movie at Sundance. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> of course. I mean, that's that's her natural uh, home. I, I think Dan talked about her first film coming out of Slam Dance. But yeah, I, I mean, this film definitely fits the uh, Sundance model here. And, and we talked about... Um, you know, like last year, this year, there's there's a lot of movies about sex, uh, sexualization, sexuality, and and this is one of those. Um, it's it's about a, a girl, uh, kind of I would say uh, late teens, who um, who uh, is living with her kind of a new age mother and her adopted sister, and uh, while growing up, she she essentially she had to have a hysterectomy uh, and massive internal surgery. And so she's, you know, because of that, she's been kind of sheltered. Uh, she, you know, she hasn't really experienced life at that point. And one part of life she hasn't experienced is sex. And um, uh, as a job, she takes care of special needs kids. And, uh, in, and in this case, she works for um, a couple played by Lena Dunham and John Bernthal. Uh, and she takes care of their Down syndrome son. And... Um, and because she's kind of interested in sex, she seduces John Bernthal's character. And uh, they start having this uh, this love affair, and she learns about sex. And then when the affair gets caught uh, by, by Lena Dunham's character, um, she kind of gets the boot. And from there, you know, this idea of love and sex is just kind of blown out the window. And she goes crazy in the sense of now she wants to understand sex uh, you know, in, in all its facets, because uh, Bernthal's character introduced her to porn. And uh, so she has this ABC list and uh, and she'll go on every letter of every sexual position or sexual, uh, you know, thing you can do starting with. A, so A obviously is da, you know, da, 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 da. adoration. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, right. <laughs> and so she just kind of goes goes down that list and. And I so so here's the thing. Um, as I'm watching this movie, a uh, I'm a dude. Watch um, what you say so, when you start out with a. I know, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I would yeah I'm a dude and and you know we get we hear it all the time you know should you know this is not necessarily a, a film that that men should uh, that you know it's that that's an argument of. Um, why are all men just reviewing my movie? This is probably one of those that that fits that category. And, and two, you know, I've got this very deep Christian upbringing, and and so I, I think my issue with the movie is just the premise uh, from the start. Uh, I, I think what she's trying to do is take this character, take a girl, and show how she's taking power and control over her body and over her sexuality, and um, you know, and not letting people use her. But now she's She's the one who's in control of what she does. And and as she's kind of exploring and experimenting, you know, random men come by, she Craigslist, blah, blah, blah. And um, and and I'm watching this and I'm like, well, if this is supposed to be a powerful statement about, you know, uh, you know, control of one's body. Uh, I, I just I, you know, I just have issues of uh, this is not how I'd go about it or, or I, you know, I don't you know, it's, it's kind of like the movie Pleasure from last year. This is not. A path that I would necessarily encourage people to go down, or or would want people. I obviously I don't want to judge a person who goes down that path, but you know this is this is the thing that I'm I'm wrestling with when I'm thinking about this movie, and um, it's so, you know, did I like it? It was good. You know, Lena Dunham's a good director. She's a good writer. She has interesting th things to say. She there's some really good moments in this, but at the same time, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this subject matter is just. Uh, it, it's just hard for me to really embrace it. Look, and, um, I, I I suffered through girls. I think the best thing to come out of girls was Adam Driver's and, career. But um, I'm going to agree with David Garcia. Says Lena Dunham, no thanks, lol. Uh, so I'm with David Garcia on this. I I I, I you know. Girls was interesting, maybe from the writing standpoint. What started to annoy me after a while was how many times Lena Dunham decided she should get naked in her own show in episodes and she uh I, I i i don't know just that that show was i mean it's one of these shows i'm like kind of forced to watch you know because someone else wants to watch it who isn't me let me just throw that out there, <laughs> throw that out there. i want you all to know forced forced to watch um 
so um, it's why I watch a uh, 90 day fiance before the 90 days, which is a hilarious reality show. <laughs> and I'm also forced to watch it, but that one I actually enjoy because at least it's, it's funny. But it's then funny. that's not a force, but I mean, girls was sad. I thought to me at the end, it got very sad at just the, uh, I, I don't know. And I just kind of feel like is, are Lena Dunham's movies a form of therapy for her? Because mm, I'd rather, it, I it, would it, rather, yeah. it's, it's rich people therapy is what it is. I mean, it's that, mm. it, it really is it, that it's, 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 th it's therapy for rich people is making a movie like this. Right. And um, I read some of the articles about Lena Dunham's return and uh, the internet's not happy about it because of things she said and done in the past. So I don't know. It's yeah. not a movie. It's not a movie that would be at the top of my list or even on my list. So even yeah. your lackluster, your sort of meh review makes me even want to see it less. So, <laughs> well, uh, that's what we do. That's our job. So <laughs> it's our job, I guess. But I mean, I just look at Lena Dunham. I just think that whatever she had to say as an artist, I feel like she has said already and everything else now is, um, I guess, driven by ego and some form of yeah. therapy for her to work things out. I just think that's a rather expensive way of doing it. And also, you know, I feel like there are other filmmakers I could reference who do the same thing, but actually have films that have something interesting to say. Um, but I haven't, I haven't heard. In fact, that was a subject last night when we were at mo our movie Twitter uh, gathering was how much people despised the sharp stick, sharp stick. They really did not like the film. So oh. 